So we've been working on this thing, the wind brick to make a wind wall, but you may think that this is not a real turbine because basically you can't stick it on a stick and hoist it into the air. Now, I would argue that wind acts differently when it hits a wall than it does when it hits a turbine, but that aside, why not make this into a circle, stick it on a stick? So, I designed this and I'm calling it the wind tube. And here it is in real life. Now, it may look a bit different, but it's not. It's identical to this. It's exactly the same, just a different cowl shape. Of course, it's got a hole in the bottom so you can stick a stick on it. And if you want to glue a tail onto the back side, it's going to find its own direction in the wind. If we take the cow off, then it's the same inside as this one is. So they're pretty much identical machines. And this uses exactly the same principles of the guiding rollers and a channel that forces it over this Archimedes screw with a coil in the bottom and some electronics. But first of all, let me show you how to turn this into this. So here is the wind tube design. And of course, I'll put this on Thingiverse, should anyone want to share it. And now I'd like to turn it into a cube. And to do that, we only need two primitives. The first primitive is this one here, which is the whole cube. And if we change that, so we make that 120 by 140 by 140. Then we compress down the shift key, highlight the tube, do this alignment arrow here, click and align it. We got the first part done. The next part is with a normal cube primitive. This time, make that 115, make that 220, make that 220. Again, hold down the shift key, highlight the cube hollow, and then center to the cube hollow. Now we can hit the merge key and it will only deal with the two that we just highlighted. And with we get this shape and we can make that shape into a hole and now we can merge those two. And hey presto we get our wind cube. Now it's kind of like a cookie cutter approach. You have to make the cookie cutter, but you can make some pretty intricate shapes and then merge them with the original shape to get whatever design you want. Of course, you'd have to do the same thing with the bottom that we just did with the top. And the bottom will leave a disc or rather a flat plate. And of course, you just make a box using that cookie cutter approach to create side walls. And that's how you do it. Now, somebody asked about the hexagonal shape so you could stack them up like bee honeycombs. And sure, why not? And this is how I'd do it. We're back to the original tube. And this time we're going to use this primitive, which says polygon on it, but it is in fact a hexagon. And you can see the measurements that it's got. It doesn't really matter that much, to be honest. Now, if we take that and make that 150, and we make that 170, and then we increase the height, 20 here to 120, then equally, like we just did, we can center those two. Make that a hole. We can take our large cube that we took before. And again, center this one. Group them. And this time we'll get a hexagonal cookie cutter. Make that a hole. And group those. Hey presto, we've got a hex design. So there we go, hexes you can stack up like a honeycomb. Now, somebody mentioned what about weatherproofing? Well, there's been a slight change in the design. This one here, when we first did it, I put the split here so we could lift one on top of the other. 
This one you might have noticed, the split is here, so the camel goes on like that. And what that does is it creates a kind of pan here. So once we've put the coil in and the electronics, all you really do is fill that with potting compound, or if you like, a wax, like paraffin wax or something like that. And that, of course, will seal that from the weather, so it'll be 100% waterproof, which I thought was quite a cool adaptation. But there you go. This turbine is actually very adaptable to what you think is a good way of doing it, and I would encourage folks to do it. I mean, put this basic turbine on Thingiverse. If somebody wants this one, well, go for it. But if you want to adapt it, then cookie cutting is a really great way of adapting things to what you want it to be. And I would encourage you to do that. It's pretty simple. As you see, we just did this with two primitives that we put together to create the cookie cutter. Anyway, I thought I'd update you on that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope it was helpful. I'm looking forward to seeing what other people come up with. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe.